Hey and welcome back. Today I prepared a basic tutorial about if statements. So whenever we wanna write the if statement, we write the if and after that we add the condition. The condition is an expression that can be evaluated to true or false. After that we open the breakers and we write the statement and the statement is the code which will be executed if the condition is true and we close the breakers. The statement can be treated like a true branch and this is executed if the condition is true. So if we know some basic, so let's jump in the Unity and write some code. So first we need to do is create new C -sharp script and give it a name. I will just simple call it if statements. Now double click to open it. And we don't need the start, so I'll just remove that. And what we'll need is some variables, what will work with them as a condition for our if statement. I will create this realist field because that will allow us to change the variables in the inspector. And the first one will call actual temp. And the second one I will call check temp. If you don't know about the variables, just check the link below. I will put there my video about the variables. So now when you create the if statement, first you do it just write simple if, and then you'll need to add some condition. In this case, let's say that actual temp is higher then check temp. And now in the breakers, you need to add some statement or any code you wanna use if the condition will be true. So let's simply write here the book log. It's nice weather outside. Now save that and let's back to the Unity. So what we'll need next, we need some object to attach the script. So let's create empty one and rename that. I will cut that if statement tester. Now we need to attach the script to the object. And because I have this rails field on the right, you can see the numbers of our variables. And now in the console, you see, it shows that it's the nice weather outside because the actual temp is higher than check temp, what we write in the code. If I change that to zero, the, that will be stop because uh, it's the not higher than zero. If I put the negative variable, also it nothing happen because it's not higher than zero. So let's back to our code and add some few lines to do something if the condition will be the same or lower. So now let's try the if statement and let's write that actual temp, it's equal to the check temp. So that means that the actual temp will be zero and will be exactly the same as the check temperature zero. So let's write the book log and let's write something like actually it's zero degrees. Let's save that and let's add one more line else. And I will not write here because we have the two statements when it's higher and it's equal. So I'll just simply write in an other case, it's called outside. So if our condition is not equal or it's not higher, so only one left is less than check temp, then we'll get the else statement. So let's check that in, go in the console, let's play that. And on the start, the temp is higher than zero. So you have this nice weather outside. 
Now when I change the zero, we have the actual zero degree on the console. And when I go below, it's called outside. So this is how they work. And to some more examples, I'll write some new code. And this time, instead of the numbers, we'll be working on the bool. So that will be working on the true or false condition on its own instead of the compare the numbers. So let's change the int for the bool. And we need to give it some names. So I'll call that one car. And on the start, let's say it false. For the next one, we'll change as well for bool. And this time I'll call driver. And as well, it's false on the start. So now let's make the new if and let's write that car equal to true. And now we need some statement. Let's debug log and information will not print when it's true. We have a car. It's simple like that. Oh, maybe let's add to drive. Let's make another one. This time for the driver. So if driver equal true. driver is ready to drive. So now when we have that, we have the condition but only for the true. So before I start this, you see that's changed for the bull. Instead of number, now we see the car and driver. But before we test that, let's as well add the if statement for the false condition. Because now will nothing happen because car and drive on the start is just false. So let's make that if the cars equal false, we'll get the information you need a car. Okay, let's close that. And now let's make another one for the driver. So if driver equal false. The book lock, you need a driver. Let's save that. And press the play and see what happens. So on the start, we have the false and we have the information that you need a car and you need a driver. Let's change the car for true. And now we have the car to drive. And let's check the driver because it's true now. Driver, it's ready to drive a car. Okay, so this is how they work on the one condition. Let's make the use of the two condition. So let's start that if car equal true. And if you put that marks there, that mean and. So like now we have the if car equal true and the driver equal true. So both condition need to be true to get some something. So if we both condition will be true, we'll get some information. Let's write the big log. Driver is inside the car. And let's say it start drive to destination. So that will show on the inspector only if the both condition will be true. 
So let's save that and check. Let's clear first. Press start. And you see, we start with the files. So nothing happened there. Just show us information with the driver. And because we now have two true condition, we get the information drivers inside the car and start to drive. So let's back to this and let's maybe make some difference. This time instead of and we'll use or. So if one of the condition will be true and then if statement we'll don't check for the second one because one of them is true and we'll give the information from it. To do so you will need to put this straight line and now the program will be read that like or so if car equal true or driver equal to false then it will be give us information in the console so let's write the book log we have car but drivers is missing what this means so if we'll have the condition for car true or if we'll have the condition from driver to false we'll get the message from there so now let's make the opposite one so if car equal false or driver equal true we'll get some other information so let's write the book log that's simple right we have a car Oh, sorry, we have a driver, but car is missing. And let's save that. And because of this, on the start, we'll have the car and driver fools. We'll get four information now on the start. So we'll get the information. You need a car, you need a driver, but as well, we have the information that we have a car, but driver is missing because the condition of the false for the driver was there and we have a driver because we, on the second condition we have car false and then the car false was on the start false and that means that we meet the first condition so it not check for the second one for the driver and give us the information we have driver but car is missing So it's different from the first one we write when you need the both. Here you use just the one. And if any of these conditions meet, we'll get the information from the code inside. So let's change that a bit. At first, let's check them both for true. And we get the drivers inside the car and start drive to destination. Okay, so let's change now that from and to and sorry from the or to and and now we will need to meet the both condition. So this is the simple thing you will need to watch out whenever we add the if condition. If you wanna have them to and so then it compare two of them. You need the both information or. When you wanna use or, then you will need just one of the condition and the program will be give the information anyway if the only one it's true. So this is all for this video. Hope it helped you understand the if statement. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to, for more and see you next time. Cheers.